first part of introduction to synthesizers, I'd like to look at enveloping, timbre and equalisation. For this, I'm using the NT100, one of Casio's keyboards, which is an old machine, but it will service us for this particular video. The Casio MT100 is a small monophonic device um, with only a few features but um, there's enough there to show us some basic principles. As we can see from the pictures there's basically three sections to the front fascia of the keyboard showing the rhythm section, the tone section and the graphic equaliser. Initially we'll look at the tone section. If we go to the tone section on this keyboard and perhaps any other that has got um, tone selectors on it um, you'll find that there's different instruments and there are various ways of picking up the different instruments but on this one they're push buttons. I've chosen two tones to compare the piano and the organ so that we can have a look at the envelope and also the waveform so that we can distinguish what these parameters are and have a look closely at those. Okay so if we have a look at the envelope for the piano you can see that it starts up quite high and then dissipates into a shallow and narrow section at the end and that um, characterizes the nature of a piano where you'll get like a, a plucked sound and that will dissipate um, quite quickly and die away but if we compare that to the organ and the organ starts off quite high and stays uh, quite high until it reaches the end of its envelope where it um, sharply drops off and that's one way in which you can tell the difference between an organ and a piano and if we have a look at the timbres for the two instruments um, we've, what we've done is highlighted a section of the envelope and zoomed into it so that we can see the waveforms and you'll see on the piano it's um, more rounded shape and on the organ it's uh, a bit more harmonics in there and you can see a different waveform and that is how we tell the two instruments apart because of those harmonics that are in one instrument and not in the other and we should be able to distinguish that from these two images so the difference between two tones is that they have different harmonics present at different uh, frequency intervals and on the MT-100 there's a graphic equalizer that allows us to take out some of those frequencies or boost them and that allows us to change what the signal actually sounds like as a tone so we can make the organ sound more bright and brassy or mute it somewhat in certain frequencies and we can do this by moving the sliders on the MT-100 um, to up or down positions in any of um, several different frequency bands I've chosen to do it at the 10k band which is 10 kilohertz and that will take out some of the um, top end the higher frequencies and later I'll take it out at the lower end of the spectrum so that you can hear the difference so first of all we hear the waveform of the organ without any of the graphic equalization and then when 10 kilohertz has been reduced then we can see from the graphic that the top end of the spectrum the harmonics have been reduced at the 10 kilohertz end and finally we'll knock out 500 hertz using the graphic equalizer and we'll hear what that sounds like and that produces a much thinner tone and we can do this to greater and lesser extent with the graphic equalizer and we can also switch it through to the rhythm on this particular instrument and it can have the same effect on the drums which can knock out some of the drums in some places and emphasize others so that you get like a thinner or sharper sound with certain instruments Okay, that's the end of the first part of the introduction to synthesizers. In the next instalment, I want to look at the synthesis methods. There's quite a few of them. And I hope you'll be able to join us for the second video and that you enjoyed the first one. See you next time.